In this video, we'll be looking for some advanced shortcuts that is control shift and the insert, delete, page up, page down and various shortcuts. Let's see those one by one. Now the very first shortcut I have, if you see that is the first cell in my sheet itself where some data is written and there's some last sheet where some data was written and I've deleted already. So if I want to, if I, if I keep my cursor here and if I want to select our entire data till the start of the page, so I can use the shortcut key as control shift home key. If you observe control shift home key, only the cursor from that place to the earlier, earlier place, everything data will be selected. Now, if you am interested not to select from here, I want to select from here at this cell. And if I press control shift home key, it will home will take to this place. Control shift will help me to select the data itself. Control shift home place. So I've selected this data. Similarly, if I do not want to go to the home place, if I want to go to the end part where the data is written something or I've deleted previously, I've worked here. So I can use the shortcut key as control shift uh, end key, control shift end key. Yeah. So if I press control shift end key, it says I have worked till H column and I've deleted something already there or I've done some formatting and till this record number 28, I've written something. So control shift end key will allow me selection till the end of the page where some data is written or they have modified earlier. So this is one method by which you can work. Next is if I want to select the sheets and the backward and the forward direction, I can use the other shortcuts. I am on the sheet right now as control shift F that is the third sheet. If I want to select the sheets in the backward directions, I, I repeat, I want to select the sheets in the backward direction. So what I can do is I'll keep my uh, cursor in this sheet and I'll press control shift page down. Control shift page down will take me to the previous sheet along with selection. So I'll keep my cursor in this place and I'll press control shift page. Yeah, so sorry, I'll, I'll go for the control page, control shift page up. So I'll press control shift page up. You see the sheets are selected now. Control shift page up, control shift page up. Now what is the benefit of selecting all the sheets? I can move, I can delete, I can just format any sheet. For example, if I, I've selected all the sheets, if I keep my cursor in cell number D1 and I write some text here, let's say I write some text as Pune, Mumbai. These are the names of the cities in India and I'll press enter. So I've selected all the sheets using a shortcut key, control shift page up and I have written some text at some place. So if I, if I deselected by clicking on this place, shift four, if I go to shift three, you see Pune, Mumbai. If I go to this place, you can see Pune, Mumbai in D1. In this place, in Pune, Mumbai in cell number D1. Yeah, this way. So I'll come back to this place, this sheet. So I showed you how to go back in the backward direction and selecting sheets, control shift page up. So if I want to go in the other direction, in the forward direction, I'll press control shift page down. Control shift page down would allow me to select sheets in the forward direction like this. You see, I'm selecting all the sheets here. Now I can just select this and come back to my place. That is control shift page down. Next I have, if I want to select the rows and columns, how do I get it? I have some data on this place. If you see, and I want to select this text in the forward direction. So I can press control shift right arrow key. So if I press control shift right arrow key, it will do the selection till where the, my data is present. So I'll press control shift right arrow key. So you see till the end, my data is selected. Similarly, if I press control shift down arrow key, I'll select the entire table itself and I've got the data that is selected. I can copy paste. I can make some formatting changes like this bold, italic, underline if I want. If I do not want control Z. So this was in the right direction in this place and going down. What if I want the vice versa? I've selected cursor in this place. If I want to select on the left hand side, control shift left arrow key, control shift left arrow key. Yeah. See this row is selected. And if I want to select in the upper side, control shift up arrow key. So I've selected the entire data itself. So this table is very small, so you can find it very easy. You can do it with mouse also. But imagine if the data is very large, thousands of records, that time this keys will be very much useful. But I'll give you another shortcut if you want to select this data. If you remember, control A was the shortcut. There's one more shortcut. Keep your cursor in the data and you can press control space. Control space is for selecting the entire column. But now if you press control shift space, what will happen is control shift space will allow you to select the entire data, which is surrounded by, I mean this one, even there's some data in the next row that also will be selected. So control shift space will help you to select the data. Next I have, uh, if I want to use this key, if I want to go to previous window, I can use control shift tab. I have two worksheets right now available. That is book one and the shortcuts. If I want to move between the sheets, I can use control shift tab. 
control shift tab you see i'm in the book one control shift tab i am in the shortcuts workbook so if i keep on pressing control shift tab i can switch between the workbooks so these are all the shortcuts and uh, i hope you have understood all the shortcuts related to control shift and the keys itself that's all for this video